Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. You guys know what time it is. Time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And for those of you who like these type of videos, please remember to click like down below. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. But on to the point. I've had a number of people link me a video by Frank Tufano. They're like, Jason, um, I know you're trying to be positive these days. Frank made, quite frankly, an embarrassing video. Could you maybe give him some advice? And I, and I think that's the direction I want to go with this. Uh, because he's, he is catching a lot of flack for it. There are people over there mocking him. They're making fun of him for a lot of it. And that's what happens, guys. Believe me, I'm familiar with that. I understand that when you put yourself out there on the internet, you put yourself out there for criticism, and you are going to, when you do anything wrong or goofy in any way, you're going to catch flack for it. I don't want to give him more flack for it than that. And the reason for that, he's catching enough of that. So let's come over and, and discuss some, some positive advice. And, and the thing is, Frankie, um, you know, you're trying to promote uh, the meat and everything else, and you're over here dealing with that end of YouTube fitness. And if you're going to do stuff like this, you are hurting your cause, brother. You are hurting your cause putting out training like this that is so, it's, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. It's not only is it bad of the concepts themselves, but you you don't know how to execute the movements, and that's the real problem. I mean, even if you wanted to promote some of these exercises, and everything you are promoting, by the way, is, is an accessory type movement. These are smaller secondary exercises that should be done after your real training. You are not executing a single one of them correctly um, because he seems to be caught up in this, this idea of really lightweight this mind muscle connection thing and, and time under tension but he he doesn't do any of the exercises correctly everything is all about really this weird scapular retractions um and and awkward movements and it's he doesn't have any body control and even the thing is even though he's he's on some exercises he's doing ranges of motion that are inappropriate like they're they're too far one way he doesn't finish them on the other side i mean a perfect example like he does a lot of these uh almost weird romanian type deadlifts where he is rounding his back completely cat back at the bottom instead of again maintaining uh scapular retraction correctly getting a stretch because when you go to the bottom of like a romanian deadlift what are we trying to do we are trying to create a stretch reflex or a myotatic reflex in the hamstrings. And then we use that to snap back up. So he rounds, instead of keeping it tight so that he can get a stretch reflex, he just rounds and rolls his back over. So we don't actually get the stretch on the hamstring. We don't get the range of motion that we want through the hips. Therefore, we don't get the stretch that we want on the hamstrings. And then he comes up and never locks the top out and he just has a weird thing to where he rolls his his back all the way back into extreme hyperextension and still doesn't lock the weight out right so i mean if we were to talk about a, a deadlift at a powerlifting meet his finished position even on a real deadlift at the top would, would be red lighted for not finishing the rep so he just does partials to where he puts his body into to weird extension and stuff um <clears throat> Frankie and what I would say to that brother you need to come over here I want you to come over here and watch my stuff watch my channel you really and truly need to learn how to train um, because you're you're at a point to where you're you're not carrying any significant amount of muscle mass um, you're not performing exercises correctly you're promoting inappropriate use of the exercises now where I'm going to give credit where credit is due he does understand that you can train the back without the biceps now a lot of goofy bodybuilders think you can do that on pull-ups or rows or, or chin-ups or anything like that. That's just not possible. The bicep will always be a primary mover on those exercises. However, anything to where we were training the thoracic lumbar sling, we can do that. So what do we mean? Good mornings, deadlift variations, basically hip hinges. A lot of hip hinge movements will train the lats, right? A lot of hip hinge movements will train the lats. I train like six different types of deadlifts, right? I train a lot of deadlift variations. I train up to four different good morning variations. It's all hip extension movements. Those train your back. I have a pretty big back. So I, but I also do a lot of weighted pull-ups. A lot of weighted pull-ups. A lot of body weight pull-ups. So 
The problem here is that, again, his execution of these movements is entirely wrong. And he, he's trying to promote doing a lot of weird continual tension partials with bad form and flopping around like a fish instead of promoting correct and proper training based upon sound training principles. And, and that's definitely a problem. So, Frankie, what I would say, look, step back, stick to your, your meat thing for now. You, you need to reassess what you're doing. You need to learn the basics because you, you, you don't have a full understanding of the basics you don't understand basic training basic protocols a basic concept of, of what causes the body to adapt um, and again you can't cite and say well a bunch of pro bodybuilders do this and that and they're jacked and big pro bodybuilders oftentimes do all sorts of training and not all of them promote even what you're talking about but what they're still doing you've got to remember these are guys who are genetic freaks on massive enormous cocktails of, of drugs and when I say cocktails of drugs, I mean some of these guys are running 10 or 20 times the dose on substances that has ever been tested in a human being, right? In any clinical trial, humans are tested at these things at different points. Sometimes they're using 10 or 20 times the amount that's ever been tested by a scientist in a human, and they'll do it with seven different substances at the same time, okay? They're different. And then everything that's lagging for them, they just inject they just inject it directly to make it swell up with oil and scar tissue. So you're dealing with it with a different animal. But then again, when you come over and look at that, and I would say, Frankie, step back and assess what you're doing and, and say, okay, well, these pro bodybuilders use this continual tension. Do you see any of them doing what you're doing, though? Right? They're not doing what you're doing, brother. They're not. Uh, so again, rather than be excessively critical or make fun of that, I think it's a case of maybe Frankie legitimately doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, I don't think he's actually maybe adequately researched it and he's trying to put himself out there with, with training information because oftentimes that's a, the general extension. Usually people who want to be fit are going to follow an appropriate diet and they're going to follow appropriate training because it's all part of a fitness lifestyle. So he started with discussing nutrition in a very controversial niche and he's trying to add the training in, but the training is, is, is so far off base that here's what I would say, Frankie, for you to understand how far off this is, what you're promoting in training is actually worse than a vegan diet for nutrition. Okay, and I know you, you think that it's based upon good ideas, but it's not. This isn't based on any sound scientific training principles. Um, and you've got to learn to work on your body awareness, your movement patterns. Uh, you've got to learn on understanding basic programming, progressive overload. You need to do that. Now, what I will say, though, I do appreciate the fact that Pranky promotes eating meat. I don't necessarily promote the extreme carnivore diet because not eating vegetables is, is ludicrous. Um, and, but generally, I think a lot of people out here who get into the training or even fitness or health world, I don't mean necessarily hardcore lifters. Most hardcore lifters pound down meat like, like all day long. That's normal. But I see a lot of people who are trying to get into fitness who say things like they struggle to get enough protein and you look and they're eating almost no meat. They think they're eating meat. They're not eating enough meat. Um, so the fact that he is trying to push people to consume more meat, more animal products, look at, at higher quality meats, right? Promoting stuff like grass-fed beef and bison and things. Those are, those are positive things and I think we need that. Because what do I tell people to eat? What do people think that I eat? I eat meat, I eat dairy, I eat vegetables. And that's generally what I promote. And I go sometimes months at a time without eating anything that isn't meat, dairy, or vegetables. Months at a time. Not saying I don't occasionally have my, my cheat meal every now and then, but they are few and far between. They're not like a weekly thing. Right? They're not a weekly thing. Uh, and they're usually based around social situations, if, if, if at all. So... Yeah, I can appreciate the fact that he's promoting people eating more meat, that he's promoting things like grass-fed beef, grass-fed bison, free-range eggs. That's, that's fantastic. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. We need to see more of that. I would love to see everybody in YouTube Fitness promoting that, uh, eating real foods like that instead of just trying to pound extra protein shakes down, right? Eat a steak, guys, uh, because, again, I'm about meat, dairy, vegetables. What we need to base our, our diets on. Um, again, if you want to get big and strong as possible and you want to recover from your training, and be healthy because that's necessary. Necessary. But it, it just, it's, it's so bizarre because I feel like when we look over to this end of YouTube fitness in general, 
Um, when you get to this extreme side, whether it's the vegan carnivore debate back and forth, it's its own weird situation that I can say I don't fully understand. Uh, they have this weird back and forth, and they're both so extreme. Uh, even though I would lean in the direction of the carnivore guys, they're still telling you not to eat vegetables, which is it's ludicrous. Uh, but then it seems like no one on either end knows how to train. It's like this is an entire circle of people, and I don't care whether it's, it's Vegan Games or, or Frankie or any of these people, they have the, some of the worst training. It's actually worse than the bros sometimes, right? Even the bro Juice Head channels train better than everyone in this circle. So it's like I would almost want to tell these guys, look, um, you, you guys need to get on top of your training. You guys need to understand the basics. You guys have to learn how to train correctly or whatever dietary approaches you think you're taking. You're not, you're not going to get the full health benefits, the athletic benefits or anything else if you guys don't learn how to, to get your training on point. And I don't see any of the guys in this circle, any of the guys in these circles over here who actually know how to train. I really don't. And I would invite all of them, come over here, guys. I'll teach you guys how to train. I will teach you how to train and how to eat meat. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.